Hey guys, it's that time of month where I open my monthly Simon Says stamp kit and the sticker's on upside down. That's okay, let's open it up. Ta-da! I saw a preview of this month's kit on their Instagram. I can't remember where I saw it, but I remember it looking really, really nice. So, let's see what we have here. First, we have the Tootsie Pop and it is... Cherry flavored, I think. Yum. I'll need a little sugar to get some energy to craft. And, okay, so this is what I'm always excited about, the little stamp sheet. It is, oh, the glasses. It says, I see you, I believe in you. Oh, I see you like glasses. Ha 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 ha. You're pretty fantastic. I'm here for you anytime. And it says, hello, and little phrases, and a little chevron. And a little speech bubble. Oh wow, I think this sheet could be used many, many different ways. So I'm pretty excited about it. Oh, the heart speech bubble is really cute too. And then, what is this? It says, Brilliance Galaxy Gold Fast Drying Pigment Ink. I've never seen this brand before, but I like how it looks. It's like a little teardrop shape. It's super cute. I'll have to test this out. I've only used Stazon, 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 I think, ink, so I'm excited to try new colors. There's a little packet here of, it says, my story. Everyone has a story to tell. And it says, 24 die cut journal cards. Oh, you can see them all in the back here, I think. They're very pretty, very pink and gold. And oh, the mason jar one's so cute. I guess we can open it up. Oh, there's a chevron. Did that pop out or is it supposed to be like that? I don't know, but here are the cards. Oh wow, these are really cool. So I haven't been creating much lately with anything, so... Oh, something fell out. And I would love to scrapbook more. I want to get a planner. So guys, if you have a planner, let me know what one you have and maybe what one you suggest I get because I know that Erin Condren is really popular but my friend suggested a Kiki K and she has a Kiki K and she likes it very very much so I'd like to hear what you guys use and see which one's the best for me. Let's see here is the die. I don't have a die cut machine actually. It says hello. I am looking into a die cut machine. I'm also looking into like a Cricut cutter because I feel like it can print, it can cut, do different things so if you have any suggestions about that I would love to hear that too. And then bunch of papers and it says amazing reach blah 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 not blah 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 it's positive stuff and then glasses I love glasses I've been wearing glasses since I was 13 I want to say and I tried contacts a few times but I just love my glasses Ooh, shiny so I've been sticking with glasses all these years and I like them some people are like glasses are ugly glasses make you look old glasses make you look tired but I love glasses I think glasses are awesome ooh a typewriter ooh this is really cool look at that and oh these are double sided I always forget to show both sides that one's really pretty too I want to make little dollhouse rooms with these. I think they'd be really cute. Okay, so we've done a whole loop. Let's see what the other side of the glass is. Just little shapes, prints. And then, of course, they always send um, an idea sheet, which is really nice because sometimes it's hard to make something from scratch. You can deviate a bit. I like that one with the butterflies a lot. And the mason jar. Ah! the typewriter actually they're all really nice I like the pink and gold theme going on here really really pretty and then we have some big sheets of like cardstock I think I there's probably like a proper name for them but we have red black and then kind of brown and then two cream sheets beige ish cream sheets so I uh, will keep these in my drawer and hopefully craft sometime soon I know guys I hoard more than I craft which is horrible but it's so fun to look at everything. <laughs> so, that was this month's Simon Says stamp kit. I'll leave the link down below if you want to subscribe to it. It's a little bit expensive if you want to get it outside of America. I feel like I pay about the same amount for shipping as I do for the kit. So, you just, you know, kind of got to look at it and see if it's worth it to you. You don't have to sign up 
for like a yearly subscription you can get each month. So if there's like a month you want, you could get that and that you could save some money that way by not buying every single month and just hoarding the supplies like I do. But I find that the kits are really, really nice. I like that they put everything together and you have things, you know, that go together because that's kind of hard for me. Like, does this color and this color and this pattern go together and stuff like that. So yes, I really like these kits a lot. So I'm going to try it for a few more months and hopefully get crafting. And I say that every month and it's horrible. So I will get crafting. And... Yeah, so I'd love to hear your guys' opinions on planners and die-cut machines and crickets and silhouettes and whatever they're called. So let me know down below in the comment section, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!